Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be doing a farm tour. Uh, we're going to be working on the farm a little bit today. Um, we finally got all the equipment back, or at least I did finally get all my equipment here that I needed. Um, it finally got done, and yeah. So yeah, we are now got, we now have the farm and stuff all set up. We have all the equipment here. And now we are ready to start farming. So, but I'm going to give you guys a quick tour on all the equipment. I mean, or at least some of the stuff that you guys haven't seen. And yeah, we'll get into it. So obviously you guys seen the Ford and the Charger in the last farm video. But yep, now we have one, two, three, four, five chopper boxes. These three are for the pull behind chopper. And these two are going to be for the, my big, uh, self-propelled chopper in my uh, big new home, which I'll show you in a minute. And we have two kick wheel wagons here, both notch wagons. We have a Mendeco Storm. We have John Deere 21... 21... or 2410. Okay. Ah, uh, Ripper. Uh, we have a Wilson trailer. Uh, Wilson anal trailer. We have a Peterbilt 3... Uh, 389, I believe. Uh, shoot, I keep forgetting this one. Uh, 389. Okay, it's a 389 with uh, 379 headlights. So, yeah, it looks like a 379, but it's a 389. So, we have 389 Pete with a Wilson trailer. Wilson Pace Cyber trailer. Uh, green trailer. And we have John Deere HX20. Yep, HX20. Uh, Batwing, that's going to be used for mulching corn stalks. Uh, after we're done chopping or possibly combining corn, I haven't decided yet. And we got a Kilbros gravity wagon, and behind that we have a JM 680 uh, gravity wagon. We have both, both uh, two gravity wagons. That's not our. That's not one of the. That's just one of the other grain steps that I decided to sell. Then in the shed here, here's the big New Holland chopper that uh, uh, non-roofed uh, chopper boxes are for. That are for, those are for this chopper. Uh, this will be our corn harvesting machine. So, yeah. We got our PJ Gooseneck trailer here with the uh, combine header for the X9 uh, shed here too. Uh, I didn't really have a header trailer, so I just did it on the Gooseneck. Besides, my the Gooseneck don't really go anywhere on the farm anyway. kind of just sits around, so might as well make it useful. Then we have a International 7150 Magnum. We have a uh, John Deere 9630, right there. John Deere 4430 open cab. JNM, I forget the model this is. 500, uh, JNM 500. Uh, grain cart. We have a John Deere 4955, yep, 4955. Case 3040. Uh, ter uh, Terrigator sprayer. Sorry if uh, a lot of the logos and stuff are glitched out, guys. I don't know why it's like that. A lot of the mods are like that. I, it's, it's weird. I don't know why they're like that. And we got the John Deere X9 combine here. Then over in here, we have the milk trailer. We have a tanker trailer for hauling milk and for the semi. Uh, over here, we have our John Deere 8110 with the Husky tanker. What model is this? I don't know if there's a model on this one or not. No, just Husky. Okay. Well, yeah, that's our slurry hauling setup. Oop, found a hole. Okay, um, over here, we have the mixing station that we're going to use for mixing. Uh, cow, the cow feed. Uh, to put a crop in there, we have the New Holland F6 uh, F62B uh, forge blower. Over here we have a John Deere 34. John Deere 34. Yeah. John Deere 34 in the nurse better. Um, then right here we have a Frontier MS 1243 in the nurse better. Right here we have a International 1086 uh, Red Power. That, uh, that's going to be a nice tractor to have on the farm. I like that one. Right over here we have a Gale Mix All uh, Grinder Mixer that we're going to use if I do pigs. 
Um, I really do want to do pigs, so yeah, we're gonna have we're probably gonna end up using this in the near future. We just have a fuel trailer here, fuel tank. Over here, we have a John Deere 524K wheel loader with a bucket. In this shed, we have a lot of stuff in here. We have uh, the John Deere 620 yet that you guys saw last video, the 706. The fifth, we have a John Deere 5020 right here. Beautiful tractor. We have a John Deere 4x2 Gator that you guys saw in the last video. John Deere Zero Turn. This is going to be interesting to use. That'll be kind of fun to use. Uh, that's a bagger. That's a salvage bag for the bagger, which I'll get to in a minute. John Deere 4440. The 1206 is still in here from last video. International 5088. John Deere 4020, wide front. John Deere 4760. John Deere 47 or er, 7810. Mixing tractors here. Uh, the 15 uh, International 1586. John Deere 8350. Uh, drill. John Deere 250 or er, 348. Uh, kick baler. John Deere 7000. Uh, Corn Planter, HNS, uh, HNS HD2 Rake, uh, Wheel Rake is what this is, uh, and then we have a John Deere 560M Round Paper. So yeah, that's everything in this shed. Close that up. Over here, we have a John Deere 7930, two wheel drive, and we have a John Deere 700M front loader for it. We have a bale spear for it and a bucket. In here, we have a International Hydro 186 on our Kuhn Knight Real Augie 86 or RA142 mixer. Right here, we have a Bobcat T76 track skits here with a bucket. And we have a trailer mover, pallet fork, bale spear, and a mower, all for the skits. So yeah, that's all of our stuff. Oh, I forgot one very, very important piece of equipment. And it's down in the field here. I was starting to use it. We have a Case IH 8860 mower, uh, haste water, which is actually what we're going to be using in today's video uh, for our work. That's what we're going to do today. Is we're going to cut some hay a little bit. And that's pretty much it. We did an equipment tour, and now we're going to cut hay for a little bit. And then possibly uh, get everything set up for some hay. Uh, hay equipment ready to go. So, yeah, let's fire this thing up. Oh, yeah. This thing sounds amazing. Let's turn it on. Oh, yeah, look at that. Cold one. Now, this is the in game swagger pack. Anyone can get this console in PC, along with uh, Mac as well. All platforms with the swatter, so it's not just a PC mod. Uh, this has been out for a while though, so I'm pretty sure if you play it on the same lot, uh, you are pretty aware that this has been out for a while. So no need for an explanation. And then, back up here. And then this is the uh, cutter head. I'm trying to name it. No. A head, uh, draper head, or whatever you want to call it. Or it's got the uh, conditioner in it, the uh, Twin Max conditioner for making hay for it. This way, I ain't gonna tend my uh, cut the grass or have no conditioner, which this makes it a heck of a lot easier. This so way, I just gotta pull up the brake, put it on a tractor, and rake it into this material so I can pull it up and go. So I don't think I can chop it. We find out it can chop it. Which, this motor is going to work super nicely. Oh, I forgot one piece of equipment. Over there, the green thing over there, the green particular thing, that's a uh, solid bag. I'm so sorry, I forgot about that one. Thing. I completely forgot about that. They are not good at putting the equipment in the not good at that.
this whole field on camera, but we'll do a little bit here. Because this will take a long time to do it all on camera. So we're just going to go up the hill here. Make a left hand turn. Push up more. Got a couple grass stains on that tire. Alright, I just think we'll just park it here for now. Over the head. Perfect. Well, well, uh, let's get some hay equipment out then. So we need probably the ROM baler, I'm thinking, and then the rake in the back. So we gotta pull out basically everything just to get back there. Park that there. Pull this out. Pull this out. No six. I'm not gonna pull out everything on that side, but I gotta get the water. I gotta pull out almost everything right in the middle here. Let's get this out. Oh yeah, roll and pull. Alright, let's get about 4760 out. Get out I guess. Pull this out of here. We gotta... This is gonna stink because we gotta pull out the ROM baler somehow. And then we gotta pull up to probably the chop too. I think I just need a shed for implements and a shed for equip for tractors. I mean, probably need two bigger sheds. Yeah, well, I have this fired up right here. I just pulled the bill out of there. Oh no, I actually might not be able to have to the chopper out. No, we're not going to use this tractor for baling. I'm just using this to pull out the baler. To, for baling, we're going to probably use the 4760. There we go, that's out. Uh, let's use the 706 for the So the 706 is going to run the wheel rake. And then I'm gonna have 4760 on the bail. Oh, I just hit my bailer. Good grief. Alright, well, let's back this up over here. Oop, this way. I'm gonna have to get some front weight. This tractor slides in the front a little bit. Put some weight on the front. Alright, there. Let's get the 4760 fired up. I'm gonna throw this one on the baler. Be good to go. All are good there. Alright, go back this up over here. I'll put all these tractors away uh, later, probably. I'm just kinda not a necessary need right now, because you never know, I might need one. But anyways guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, please smash that like button and subscribe to really help out the channel. Um, next video we are going to be doing some hay work. Probably with IH Farmer again. And we'll see. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace.